Okay, everybody, this is a um, sort of a not-so-quick tutorial. It's about 13 minutes, but uh, it, uh, it's, it goes into um, designing uh, 360 environments inside of Cinema 4D and then rendering them out as VR uh, videos uh, from After Effects. What I'm going to show you here is uh, maybe um, kind of like a little cheat uh, cheating uh, approach on um, how to render out uh, as quickly as possible and kind of save some time on the rendering time uh, from within Cinema 4D. So let's get started. Okay, so here we are in Cinema 4D. I've created an entire world uh, and I do have my uh, spherical camera uh, enabled, uh, equa rectangular, lat long and use full range so uh, I've got that ready to go uh, the coordinates on here on this camera uh, are gonna be kinda zeroed out uh, the idea is that it is in the dead center of your scene you've built your world around it uh, I'm gonna go into the render settings for the output I'm gonna output it uh, just um, one single frame and I'm gonna export it as a PNG so here I'm setting as a PNG, I'm going to give it a name, alpha channel, always, always set your alpha channel. Um, and here we go. Uh, I'm going to set it to render, and this is just one single frame that I'm rendering. Um, and I'm going to tell it yes, and it will render out one frame. And this frame it will be used as our, kind of like our 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 world it is just one frame and we can extend the duration of it in after effects for as long as we want we can set it for 10 seconds 30 seconds a minute however you long however you want your um your uh, scene to last you can set that duration inside of after effects using just one single frame uh, i rendered it out at 4000 pixels by 2000 pixels so i can get a nice clean crisp um, resolution inside of After Effects for my for my project. Okay, so I've rendered it out, and now let's go on to After Effects. Uh, here we are. I'm gonna, this is a new project. I'm going to import file, and I'm going to navigate to find this one PNG image that I that I rendered out from Cinema 4D, and here it is. It's a PNG format. Open. I'm going to drag this image and I'm going to drag it to a new composition um, and here it is uh, this is what it looks like uh, I'm going to click it I'm going to go to composition settings and make sure that everything's okay 4000 pixels by 2000 pixels nice and wide nice and big uh, I want my composition to last 30 seconds 30 seconds in one frame and my background color is black. In case I don't add anything, it'll appear black. But I can always add a, a sky or something because it's... Uh, here I can stretch out the duration of the clip. So this is one image, so I can extend it to last 30 seconds. Okay, I'm going to go to Window VR Comp Editor. Uh, if you don't see it, and here it is. I'm going to add a 3D edit. Uh, this pops up and what one we'll here is make sure to include the image that the composition that we've created with the same name as the PNG file uh, I'm gonna change the comp width to 4,000 pixels because that's how I rendered it out I'm gonna uncheck node 2 and I'm gonna check source footage has alpha because we have an alpha channel and here you go you get two compositions immediately this is the original one this is your output uh, this is, and this is how you can explore uh, if you click on the camera layer and click C on your keyboard the letter C as in cat you can navigate around your world uh, and now it is fully immersive um, so cool this is this is uh, this is looking good um, we're gonna uh, kind of go to the um, open up the camera and reset it so we can set it to where it is in default um, okay so now what we're gonna do is we're gonna go back to Cinema 4D and I wanna add this spaceship so I've created this scene and I'm gonna zoom in here so you can see where my camera is it's in the middle of the scene uh, and I have a, uh, a character here so I could set it at the height of the head so I can make it human scale 
So here it is. I've put the spaceship very high above him or it. Um, I'm going to go to quad view so I can kind of give you a sense of where it is positioned. Uh, and so you can get a sense of where your objects are positioned. So if I zoom in here, um, I'm going to see that my camera and my character are down there. So the spaceship is right above them. I'm going to go to quad view again. And here also you can see this is the, the, the right view, the side view. Um, you get a really good sense that the character is right down there, the camera and the spaceship is right above it. That's exactly where I want it. Um, so I'm going to go into my camera and I'm going to show you that it is zeroed out. I'm going to go to my perspective view uh, and I'm going to go in my camera and I'm going to make sure that everything is zero except for the y-axis. It's 180 centimeters, which is 1.8 meters high, which is human uh, height. And my angles are zero, so the camera is dead center uh, in the middle of the scene. I'm going to hide my figure. And now I'm gonna, what I'm going to do is, in order to, again, save time in my render time, I don't want to render a scene of this ship with spinning things for a minute, two minutes. Uh, I want to just render out 60 frames, which is three seconds. So I'm going to create a three second loop of this moving um, uh, spaceship. So it's not going to be, um, I want to spin these uh, components, these elements, just enough to where I can loop it. So again, I'm, I'm creating a three second loop. So I go to the beginning of time, add a keyframe, and at the end, and then I'm gonna also uh, animate this back, these back tanks, uh, and I have them grouped in here under this null. Uh, let me just click here. Nope. This is the null, and you can see that I keyframed it at the beginning and at the end. And what I want to do now is make sure that these keyframes. So I'm gonna play it, and here it's looping. The 60 frame loop, and uh, it's not perfect, but it gets it gets the job done you can perfect it if you want spend a little bit more time on it this is just a quick tutorial what I want to do now is make sure that these keyframes are linear uh, and not um, and not spline that way they start at the beginning when I press play and when it ends it ends all the way through that way it's it's uh, it's easier on the loop again I'm gonna make it for these three wheels uh, when I right click it or control click uh, and make sure that they're linear and okay if I play it they're looping so I'm gonna render this three second um, I'm oh, sorry two second two second uh, animation um, which is 60 frames if we're at 30 30 frames per second okay I got a couple of lights just to make sure that it that they're that I can see the spaceship uh, that it has some lighting on it I'm going to go into my camera, I'm going to go to my render settings, uh, and I'm going to give it a, a name and a location on where to save. I'm going to call it Spaceship Loop. Uh, and then, there you go, I'm going to set it as a PNG, so this is going to be a PNG uh, image sequence. Uh, make sure that I have my alpha channel checked. I'm gonna go to my output. I'm actually gonna set my my uh, resolution to 2,000 by 1,000. I don't need it as high res. You can leave it at 4,000 by 2,000 if you want it really high res. But just to speed up the process, I'm gonna render out all frames, so zero through 60. I'm all set here. Hit render, uh, and I'm gonna speed up and skip this. So. Um, it's all rendered. Uh, now we're going to go back into After Effects. Uh, this is the same project, so I'm going to go here, File, Import, File, and I'm going to navigate to where I have that PNG sequence, uh, Spaceship Loop. So again, these are 60 frames, so I'm going to click PNG Sequence, and all I have to do is select the first one and click Open, and it will import all of my images as one uh, image sequence which makes like a little video. I'm going to drag it into my uh, immersive render composition 
uh, down below and that way it appears and behind it now you can see that the frame is smaller so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna it's 2,000 by 1,000 remember the original composition was 4,000 by 2,000 so I'm gonna open this transform go to scale and I'm gonna scale it up to 200 that way it fits perfectly uh, behind my uh, original scene so 200 by 200 uh, excellent I'm gonna go to this immersive VR edit one I'm gonna go to the camera press C on my keyboard and now I can rotate and there it is there's my spaceship um, ready to go if I press play it will stop playing it will start playing and now remember it's a two second uh, clip so when it hits two seconds it probably will stop and it disappears because there's no more so what we need to do is go back to the original uh, composition here and hit D on your command D on the keyboard to duplicate it see it's two seconds so hold to command D command D several times and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna spread these remember that they're gonna loop so I'm gonna play one right after the other I'm gonna zoom in a little bit here and move them over deselect this top one move them over uh, and so on and so forth I'm gonna do the entire timeline that way my spaceship is all up, up there the whole 30 seconds which is the duration of the of the composition uh, and there it is if I play it now the spaceship is up there it's looping uh, and I've saved myself a lot of time out in uh, cinema 4d okay so here I go um, this is back in the VR edit one uh, composition which is to explore my my immersive world okay so i'm gonna pause here um i'm gonna click c on my keyboard so i can kind of navigate back uh just kind of explore a little bit what i can do is hit reset oh sorry so i'm gonna drag it back and now it's in front of my scene see it's it's kind of in front of the buildings that's closer to us um so depending on the order whether you want it on top uh, that makes it um, outside and anyways you can play around with it and switch it around I'm gonna reset my camera because I'm gonna get ready to render this I'm gonna close this so you want to render out the VR output so I'm gonna select composition add to media encoder here it is uh, make sure that you're exporting the output uh, here it is I'm gonna click here H264 match source I'm gonna go down here make sure it's VR uh, and click OK now I want to set a name and a location by clicking here um, and I'm gonna give it a I'm gonna give it a location I'm gonna save it here uh, I think the name I'll just leave it the same I'll add a 2 at the end just so I can identify it click Save press the green button and it'll start rendering you should have a a wonderful uh, VR uh, video uh, rendered out and ready to be uh, injected um, with uh, the metadata injector uh, and then upload to YouTube don't forget to add audio of course but um, there you go